You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Chaka Bros, or as we're calling it, the Chaka Brews. <laughs> I'm here joined with uh, Chad. How you doing, Chad? Doing well, doing well. Chad is a uh, fire shot eighty four in octagon, I believe. Is that correct? Yep, pretty much anywhere gaming. That's where you can find me. All right, so Chad <laughs> is one of our locals. Chad is known for mostly for his standard unit packages. From uh, he played some DGS ice decks, um, a lot of uh, water earth standard units, and most recently he's played some wind lightning uh, dragoon standard units decks. Um, so it's been pretty interesting. Uh, Chad, is there a reason you like standard units? Uh, well, when I first got into the game, it was late in Opus 4, so I, I really had to play on a budget for a while. Uh, and standard units just fit that. I mean, you can build $20 decks and they're still competitive. That's true. That's true. So, uh, I'm, I'm, we're going to build a Dorgan deck first, and then I'd like Chad to suggest some sort of standard unit deck. Uh, we'll start from scratch, we'll just pick a random element, and then we'll build from there. Um... So we're going to build a Dorgan deck um, while I'm doing this. Let me go ahead and share my screen with Chad. Probably be easier. There we go. Yeah. Are you able to see it, Chad? Yeah, I got it. Uh, we're just going to call the deck Dorgan, and we're going to start by putting in some Dorgans. Not Drogans, Dorgans. <laughs> All right. So three Dorgans. So if you don't know what Dorgan is, it's when a 4CP wind 8K. So it's on uh, curve, so somewhat. Curve is moving with power level. Curves moving a little bit up, but uh, when backup enters your field, choose one for your opponent controls. Remove from the uh, remove it from the game as long as Dorgan is on the field. That seems pretty powerful. Um, we've seen some people talk about the deck with Remedy. Um, I think Chad, you've 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 seen my version. I've played it at some locals, right? Oh yes, uh, Sam plays five colors in almost every deck. That's actually just one hundred percent normally true. Um, <laughs> so first off, for the Dorgan, I'm gonna want two, uh, Cleones. We'll just start with a bunch um, to protect him. And so what I usually am gonna do, if I have Cleones, I'm not gonna have monsters, so I'm gonna need other ways to protect him too. So maybe add a Mantois. So I'm almost building my list from scratch. I have a lot of it memorized. So correct me and. Talk it up if I'm wrong while I build this, but we start with like a. It's really it's a Sid two deck um, with Dorgan, and, and and the reason I say that is because well I should just do advanced uh, one CP backups because we are going to have Yog Rosh, which is part of the engine, one Evoker because we always need one to be able to search um, two of these, two of these. And that should be good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the bare minimum I want. Um, it's Shantoto as a way to make sure I can cast all of my cards. The combo in this deck is being able to spell Mion. So the combo in the deck really is that uh, you play Dorgan. If you don't have the Cleone, or what we're going to put in is the Astola, so I'll go ahead and add that now. You typically pass the turn, because it's important to be able to protect it. So, it's fine to play the Dorgan by itself, because it is on curve. But once you start removing stuff, you need to be able to protect it. That's really important, especially with so many coming to the play uh, triggers. Like, if you're removing important things like uh, Cloud of Darknesses, uh, Genesis... Uh, any of those types of cards, you really need to be able to protect it. But once you once you have it in the field, the combo is that you can play Mion to bounce Yog Rosh. To you'll draw a card from the Mion trigger. You'll remove a guy. Then you can play Yog Rosh, bounce Mion, play Mion, bounce Yog Rosh. And you can continue doing this over and over and over and over, and it's really quite silly. Um, so I like Artemisian. There's another reason you do this. So with the Artemisian, when you're bouncing your backups, you can then cycle them back into your deck. Um, and just so you guys know, this is a very backup heavy deck. So we're having Mephilia. This allows you to grab two Evokers out of your yard, then then play Artemisian to cycle them in. Play Mion, bounce Artemisian, replay Artemisian. 
and the cycle goes on and on. Um, I'm not sure as far as Chad how much he's seen the cycle. I don't know how many times you've seen it, um, but it's um, interesting. <laughs> yeah, like the other night when you played it against me, I think you managed to remove four guys in one turn just easily, and I'm like, well, okay, cool. Good right, because <laughs> you're, draw you're, you're drawing a card with Mion every every other one, which is really what makes it interesting. Now, the the card that is probably controversial that I like to play is Sin. Uh, if I'm not playing Sin, I usually play Noctis and Fasoya. Um, the re and Sin does kind of clash with Cleone a little bit, but it does let you play and wipe the board before you play a Dorgan. Or oftentimes, if you have the Dorgan and they're able to remove it and they get all their guys back, you play Sin, clear the board again, and there's not... Oh, that rhymed. And there's not really recovery <laughs> mode for them. <laughs> So, but the, one of the good things about Sin, though, if you are afraid of killing your Cleon, you still draw cards off of it. Correct. So you can right. develop some advantage there. Right. Similar to the uh, the the Riku Mill Monsters deck, uh, both of them played Vikings, and I mean, you'd play Shanto to wipe your Vikings, draw cards, and then play a bunch of guys. Yep. So, uh, I and speaking of that, I've added the Layla Viking combo in there. There's a couple of reasons for Lay the Viking. It allows you to set up a longer game, and they actually punish your opponent quite hard. Uh, they kill very quickly. So, you know, when you have Dorgan going, Layla and Viking just hit for the full points of damage because they don't have any blockers. Uh, so you're able to just like, get in there and get in there and get in there and get in there. Um, Halicarnassus, is that what we're looking at? Halicarnassus, I've been thinking about putting as like a two of. The reason you want this card in there is so that you can play it and then play one of your backups to remove things like Ranger, Dataluma, um, those types of things without any sort of uh, repercussion. Now, you want uh, maybe one or two Titus in the deck, the new Titus, to be able to bounce. Um, and then we're going to want a Brother or two to be able to search for this or Riku. Now, Riku seems really strange, but it does come with the reason that we both run Menphilia, besides the version we, the reason we talked about earlier, um, and the reasons we run Sin as a second of. The Menphilia allows us to get copies of Sin back, which is very important. And then the Riku is a really interesting card because it does two things. It allows you to play all of your evokers early. Um, and then you play the Riku, and you're able to bounce them to your hand, play the Artemisian, cycle them back into your deck, then continue to use your Sid to draw them again. It's pretty awesome. But there's also this 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 turn that you set up, or you try to set up, where you play your Sin, and then the next turn you play Cleon or Ishtola, preferably both. You cast Riku, bounce all of your backups to your hand, then use that CP to cast Sin, or to use a Giga Graviton. So, you now have Cleon and Estola protecting your Sin, and they have one turn to remove it. Um, and the, the Riku really just lets you cast all of that. It's really interesting. So, Chad, in this current build, I actually have two spots left. What would you recommend? Um... You're pretty consistent on your colors, so I wouldn't try and squeeze in anything like, um, like Moogle, uh, the new Moogle. Yeah. Um, Which we tried before. I did try before, um, but yeah, I, I didn't love it either. So I think that you're fine with the Shantoto and the Sid. Right. There's enough color fixing between there. Right. Um, what about what about more? like a? I like Ruban. As ways, you have Adam and um to be able to protect him and make him live. You have Shinto, you have um, Infinity to get him back when he's dead, um, and I just like him to be able to kill things like Emperor, which stops if you don't have a Dorgan, it stops your Sid uh, things. It just kills a lot of stuff, which is you don't have summons um, because of Kaleon. So I think I like so removal is limited, right? In yeah. fact, I think maybe I'm going to go to two Kaleon. And three Rubon, since we already have the three Estola. So that would be my... Um, it's a really quick version of a archetype. They don't have Dorgan. They don't have Control. What is this FF Dex, guys? Come on. Just do Archfiends. That's what I always do, too. We're going to do... <laughs> we're going to do... Um, 
cadets because maybe it's yeah. like yeah cadets we'll, we'll we'll just say that and this is a prime gorgons um so real quick before we move on uh the the mulligan guide for this is pretty simple you're gonna mulligan any hand without artemisian or sid too i don't think any other combination of cards matters even if i have layla viking i typically will not keep it if i have layla viking in my mulligan i'm still very very happy um but yeah, I, I think you want Artemisian or Sid 2. The deck really hinges around those two cards. Um, there are a ton of different variations of this deck that you can try. I have tried 30 to 40 of them. I bring this deck to locals every single week, twice a week. We're moving locals to three times a week this week, you know, which is pretty exciting. But I will be bringing this um, to locals as well. So I am super excited about that. But there's so many different ways you can, you can change in cards. I wouldn't be, you know, without... The Halakonasis discard summons. I wouldn't be sad if you cut some of these and actually played summons. You could play summons like um, some variations of the deck. You could play like Titans uh, to protect your Dorgan. Um, you could play Carbuncle to cancel their summons. Uh, I, I don't like think I like that as much as I like t Titan, but either way seems pretty. pretty yeah, okay. I mean, I'd, I'd rather play another guy or play uh, pay two more CP just to right. kill another guy than to cancel a summon. Right. If Carbuncle costs two, every well, deck. Carbuncle costs. Oh yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> the other thing is you can play the Carbuncle backup, which allows you to get around a lot of things, like um, to instant speed remove their stuff with Dorkin. Uh, the only reason I don't is I think the backup slots fill pretty quickly, and even though you have Titus and Riku, you really got it. You really are only casting these when it's time to like win the game. Um, there's definitely certainly a version of this that you could play Valfor that returns all fours to your hand. Uh, it's really interesting if, if you have like, like you just win the game. If you have Dorgan, Layla, Viking, and they're like, well, I'm going to Shantoto because I have to kill this. And you're like, okay, in response, I'll Valfor. And you return, you draw a card off Viking, you return your Layla, and you return your Dorgan. All their guys come into play and their board gets Shantotoed. Um, and I don't think they really recover from that, which is good. <laughs> So I think that's pretty good. So I think that's mostly it as far as the guide to how to mulligan with the deck. And I told you a little bit about how to play. Um, you will deck out. All of my losses almost have come to deck out with this deck. Um, maybe even all of them, actually. Not even like close. Uh, so you have to be careful because it's playing for the log game. What happens is, yes, you have Viking that draws you cards but in adamant ways but you don't underestimate how many cards Mion's going to draw you when you start going off with the yagrash Mion combo um you'll draw through your deck very quickly so you need to be able to close out the games um, and, and one thing very important for even playing against it is i mean you can force your opponent to draw cards when they have a dorgan deck and they have cards like cleon it's like cool i'm gonna just pay one cp to cast an asura to make you draw a card and put you that much closer Right, and that and that does that. Those are really important key moments. All right, have you get have you gotten any thought into what we're gonna create here, Chad? Give me give me two colors. We're gonna make it happen. Hey, uh, you cut out there. What what was I, that? I said, have you given any thought to what colors we're gonna make here? Honestly, I have loved dragoons lately. Okay, so that, that has probably been my favorite one to build. Um, and I mean, the Barbara, one of the best cards that has come out for standard units. All right. So we're starting with lightning. Are we model lightning or are we splashing some colors in? Um, I've loved a wind splash, but I mean, I, I can't think of. How about, how about, try. how about let's try water lightning. The reason I yeah. want to try water lightning is because we will get access to red mage. The one that bounces a forward. Um, oh, if you yes, put it in water, we'll water get access to Layla yeah. Viking. And I think that's insane with Alua because it allows you just to kill your opponent out of nowhere. It actually just gives all of your guys haste because you already have the dragoon. Um, so I like that idea. What do you, what do you think? Can we try that? Yeah, definitely. Let's all go right. With so it. what are we going to start with? So we're going to start with uh, who, who did you say was really good in the deck? 100% Barbara. All right. So four, four drop Barbara. Or Barbara, I guess. Is that what it is? All right, so those yeah. that don't know, it's uh, 4 CP, 7K. The job Dragoon and card name Dragoon, you control, gains haste. Choose one Dragoon or card Dragoon. It gains plus 1,000 power until end of turn. Now, Chad often um, combines this with 
uh, Maria, and Ark. And Lulu. Some, and, and Lulu. <laughs> so some of their guys get really ridiculous. We're going to try something a little different with this one. Just to see how it works. So how about this? Let's do lightning, water, and let's do uh, standard units. Um, and we're looking for forwards to start with, right? Yeah. All right. So what when you think about this deck, what's the first ones you come up with? Um, if I'm in water, I always like to think of uh, Warrior of Light. But the thing about Warrior of Light in a standard unit deck is that he's easily removed. Uh, I like him in ice because I can get him back. Well, actually, uh, hey, then... let's start over. Barbera pump, uh, uh, pumps Dragoons. So let's go ahead and just start with yeah. Dragoons real quick. Yeah. Uh, dragoons. Uh, it would be Job Dragoons going to be your Freya, your Canes, and your um, your Stinian. Okay, I like Freya because we can we actually get it with um, Iku, which is interesting. Um, oh, true. Freya is a Category 9. Yeah, I like Kane. Have you tried Kane? Do you think we should try some Kane? Yeah, I have been running Kane in uh, my latest build. The only thing is, um, I don't. I, I have him as a one of because you can typically tell if the deck is going to play light or dark mm -hmm. uh, pretty so early you, on. You need so. to be able to kill it too, right? Right. So yeah, as long as you can kill their dark forward, it's not. It's not too bad. Um, and then I mean, Astinian's always good, especially because Barbara gives him haste all oh, the time automatically. Yeah. So you absolutely. don't have to have five backups. Okay. Um, what about this Ricard? So five uh, CP unless you get Scott or Minwu or Joseph. Now because we're in water, we can play all of those cards. Well, Joseph's ice. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. But we can play Minwu or Scott. Scott's gonna get bigger with each um, backup. backup, which we are gonna be backup heavy. And Minwu yeah, is a... Minwu. It's pretty good. Now we could be even be playing the forward menu. How many summons do you think? Should, should we should we add one? Just for now, and we can take it out if we don't need it? Yeah, I'll, I always like to have one to look at for any cards I'm thinking of in a deck. All right, so we have 10 Dragoons, which seems pretty good. Estinian. Estinian might even go to three. We'll see. The card that I really like to run with Estinian is at least one X-Death. Um, the new one. Yeah, you can because grab them I, on I, I like grabbing point. it when you play it as your fifth backup, and then just killing them, basically. And uh, uh, one of the cool things I just noticed about the uh, the Ricard, uh, he he has to block, similar to the what, Opus 2 Cecil, um, but with Barbara, he has haste, so you can drop him and swing, so you don't have to worry about... Oh, yeah, I never noticed that. That's that's uh, actually a great point. He will have haste. All right, so let's go into those water, um, those standard units. I The first one that caught my eye was Knight in... For a backup base, I like the idea of some number of knights, especially if we're going to have ways to search out these. So we don't have a lot of standard units. Are there any dragoons that are good that are standard units? Uh, the Oh, Opus it, it, it is card name dragoon as well, right? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, card name dragoon. Uh, Opus 6 has been really good. Um, All right, let's scroll over there. That's the one that gets... One. Yeah, he gets uh, the FFTA2 over on the right. This one? Yeah, he gets... Pumped for each card name dragoon or oh, job geez. dragoon. So he's our he's already on curve and immediately becomes better. Yeah. Yes, I like this quite. I like um, that one quite a bit. In um, a lot of my decks, I've been uh, I've been able to just pay two and drop a fourteen uh, k. Um. All right. Then... So I like the red mage for sure. I like that it can Odin things. Um, and, and it can bounce things that get in your way of your uh, your aggression. What else would you say? Like, you think Layla Viking probably, right? That's got to be. Yeah, Layla Viking feels good for some card draw. Like uh, maybe one thing I've... I'm going to go with like two, three Viking, maybe two Layla for now, since we're not focused on it. Yeah. Anytime I build a deck with that, I always try and do two, three instead of three, three. All since right. I'm not focused. And I like a Lua. Um, although a lot of you guys have haste already, perhaps Lou is actually not that good. She's right. still pretty good on her own though. Like she's just she's good, good because forward. she she forces some removal, mm -hmm. um, like uh, larger things of removal. But if I let's look at our backups today, we can decide later for sure. <clears throat> All right, 
So we're going to go with backups first. Um, and we'll just do a search real quick. All right, stop me when you see the ones that have to be in the deck. So are uh, we going to play Minwoo? Min okay, we, so we will play the, the backup Minwoo. Yeah, I always like the backup. I think Yuna H has been really good lately as well. It's been with insane. a lot of decks. Um, yeah, I I want to I want to make sure we can remove stuff. We don't have well, we'll see how many how much. It's really important to be able to kill stuff. I think if you're running the unit the unit H. Right, but even then, a lot of decks do depend on yeah. some shenanigans. We don't have the Alcid package, um, so I'm not sure about Karamis. We don't have Ash. I mean, in other words, if we had the Alcid deck. I always still want Ash. I don't think we can afford Ash in this deck. Not um, quite. Um, Artemisian is pretty good. Aiku is good. Depending. Oh, we want this Aiku, right, to be able to get our our Freyas. You can find your Freya. We definitely think uh, we might even add a like. What if we added a Steiner in here? Um, five cost or five cost. Okay. Um, so that we could Aiku into it, and then Steiner into maybe we play like an Artemisian as a one of We could art. We could uh, go into the other Aiku, also just for free discard. We can go mm -hmm. into the Freya. There's really a lot of stuff we can do with that. Um, and then uh, King of Burmesia is always a, a good one to have in your dragon Oh, decks. is that 9 as well? I think he might be. Yes, yeah, so we can actually search for it off of Steiner, which makes me want to up Steiner to 2. Because this also goes and gets a lot of your, your Dragoons, obviously. Well, I'm liking this deck quite a bit. <laughs> um, our backups are pretty heavy. I'm not comfortable unless the next six backups are all two drops because we only have one right now. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this to two. All right. Two let's... drops. Two drops that we could break is the only thing. So because we have one, two, three, four, three. five, six. Yes, yeah, so we have six unbreakables. Now we're not always going to want Minwoo. And we're not always going to want King in IQ. We're going to probably want one or the other, depending on the game. So right. that's fine. We now need to find the back, the breakable backups that we think are good. Uh, and it looks like we need lightning backups. Uh, so for now, let's concentrate on that. And then we will... So maybe four, two. Maybe four more lightning, two... No, I think five more lightning, two, one more... Five more lightning. I don't know. Maybe four two is fine. We'll see. Yeah. Um, hmm. What else has been good for you? I I, mean, I love cards like Cannoneer. Um, what a. Uh, that's not where's the uh, Where's the new Cannoneer as well? That one puts a forward in the break zone. How? We have yeah. no exit abilities. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. Uh, well, we could play. One black waltz, although like I don't know that that's gonna be enough reason, but we should probably play one anyway because we can search for it with so many different ways. Um, right. And it's actually like a pretty decent forward. Uh, Red mage. A lot of our guys have haste. It's a good card. I don't love it though. I think that uh, I, I think that I want like no. I think I want something that does damage so that it makes blocking Freya very difficult. Um, that would have to be, what, Scholar? I think Magus does that, Well, Scholar too. is awesome, right? Scholar's oh, the one that deals two, two of them 3,000, right? I think so. Oh, choose one blocking forward, it loses... Oh, that's Cannoneer, never mind. Yeah, to the uh, left. This one... Yes, I think this card is actually just great, and it's really great in our metagame. And you don't have to pay anything, either. Right, very cheap, very good. Uh, uh, the only thing is, it's it's a bit of a dead card when you come to um, the mono water decks, but I mean, there's a bad matchup in most decks. Well, it kills Layla Viking, assuming uh, a few things like no Waka, no Waka, no Arc, which I've seen in a few Wind Water builds yeah. too. I actually like Black Mage, and just for the maybe just for the lulls of it, I'm gonna go with Mystic Knight because it does the same thing, but it's cooler. Uh, of course. The reason I like it is because you can attack into things with like Viking and Layla, or even block with them, and then they just their guy they they get to you get to kill their guy with this block, and to me that's very good, um, since it kills anything damaged. 
All right, so I'm actually comfortable with these backups. Um, yeah, it looks good. It's yeah, consistent. I, I think it's lower want, to the ground. Yeah, I'm thinking we want one more summon. Um, uh, as far as summons go, I'm I, I'm loving Cyclops, especially with a lot of these Layla Viking decks. I mean, if there's no Anthem, it just wipes all the Layla Vikings. All right. Um, I could, I the could other one, that. I the think for sure we need to, I think we need fan for it for sure because we have Black Waltz and three Vikings. Yep. I think fan for it is very easy to set up. Um, Odin's been good, but it also depends on some of the metagame. Right. The three cost Odin. What about uh, Rama? Rama. You, you like that? I, I mean, I think that card is very oh, yeah. good. It allows you to dole their guy. What if we do two of this and two Leviathan? Leviathan, like, stopping your sum your guys from taking damage from summons. Um, stops action abilities. And obviously bounces things so you can finish them off. Seems good. Ooh, we messed up. That's what we need. We need Gladiator. Yeah. I was, so, I was about to say when I was looking at that. <laughs> so maybe the... That, maybe we don't need it. That actually summon. gets more water down down bottom, too. Because uh, oh, yeah, honestly, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking um, Min Wu might not be a necessary add, which would clear out the Ricard. Okay, yeah, I, I, I could get behind that. I really want three Gladiator. I think the card's so powerful. I like right. that we're, 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 we have this many backups here. Um, I like having a lot of backups. I think Gladiator is very powerful in this deck with Dragoons, Knight. Um, Especially if you can give about, your Okay, your that's what we're missing, face. too. What if we did, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Searcher, searcher, searcher. Maybe we cut one of these, one of these, mm -hmm. and go with two brawn. So that we can search for all of these standard units, including the one knight, the dragoon, um, and the vikings, and the red mage also, too. And then I could see, because we have cyclops, possibly going with another knight. What do you think? Yes, I... I... Love Knight. That's probably the best standard unit in water, aside from Viking, because you don't draw a card with right. Knight, but that's right. not it. All right, Chad, what do you think about this deck? Oh, it looks good. looks good. I, uh, I'd i love to try it. I'd love to play with the Nine Engine a little more. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I didn't fun. even know some of the connections with um, EX Steiner and then the... Well, now you do. <laughs> There's ah, so many yeah, decks. So. so also Steiner gets brawn, by the way. So Steiner oh, yeah. gets brawn, IQ, King of Armesia or Burmesia, sorry. Artemisia. Freya. So it gets a lot of your backups. Then it gets uh Black Waltz, Freya, right? And and in itself, it gets a copy of itself as well. Uh, which is pretty good. So you have a lot of stuff that can go and get other stuff that gets other stuff, etc. Cetera, et cetera. I really like that. There's a lot of synergy in this deck. And it's a low to the ground deck, I think. It's, it's yeah, I think it has a powerful end game too with this standard. Dragons. Yeah, if you're gonna run dragoons or even standard units, you have to try and stay low to the ground. Yep. But you also get to a point where you have to keep in mind you shouldn't run a bunch of two costs because right. Shadow Lord is existent. And yep. everyone owns three copies and, now. <laughs> and we are we barely have any two costs. We also the other card that I I would like in here too, if we I don't think we have the room, but I would consider Beatrix. Um, but I don't think we have the room right now, but I think Beatrix would be good in this deck. Um, I don't see cutting anything. This card's pretty good. I could see this going to two. I could see... This is all good. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I like this deck as it is. I wouldn't add... I wouldn't change anything right now. If I did change anything, it would be that I'd add Beatrix somewhere. Um... I think that's the only nine card I'm really missing. I like yeah. Mog quite a bit, but I'm not certain I'm that we have that. enough Ikus. I like this Steiner, but I like this one more. Yeah, the B Beatrix is the only card I really think that I'm sad that we don't have in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it forces your opponent... It, it, it lowers the board by 1k, so I mean, you can combo that with a Cyclops to yeah. kill a lot of things, and then I even also, then you can... I also like that... Uh, a little over twenty percent of our deck is EX burst. 
Um, I didn't realize that. <laughs> we got two will, two Steiners. I have backup set search or EX first. Yeah, we got two Steiners, three Fanfrit, two Cyclops. Um, what else is there? Two Brawn, two King of Remesian, and two and two Yuna. Yeah, I like um, this deck quite a bit. Chad's Dragoon Palace is what we named it. Works for me. It's not Water uh, Lightning. It's Arch Fiends. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that you said is uh, maybe add a Beatrix, but I'd also be willing to try and squeeze a Light Zidane in there as well, because there's so many Category 9 cards. Hmm. And he's pretty good to search. Also, he yeah, can Well, let's, let's put him in there. I, 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 I think you have a great point. Yeah, yeah, he can activate all of your Category 9, which is one, two, three, backup. Four backups, right, right? So he can actually allow you to replay something for free after you play him. Um, so let's say we add one Zidane for now. Um, I, with the Vikings, I could cut a backup um, pretty even. Um, Maybe the Excess isn't getting a lot of mileage out of this deck. Let me see. How, how many non-breakables? So this we might play early, so we might have a, not have a choice whether this is in the deck or not. So yeah. one... Uh, two three four five maybe we cut the x death or maybe yeah. we, we either cut the x death or we cut a yuna and you play the one that you think is good in that matchup but i don't want to cut the searchers i really like the searcher package i think yuna is still good especially off the experts because we stopped sure. seeing a lot of entry abilities and i mean turbo is slowly phasing out so you don't have to worry about bouncing a discard effect that's a good point yeah i like that Zidane, I, I, I slept on Zidane because I had uh, this checked. Oh, that's what you did. <laughs> and, and not this. So Zidane would be the only addition that we were missing, right? Yeah. You know, good yeah. point, though. I think, that's a, I think that's a great catch. I think Zidane's really important. If I were to add another backup, I'd find room for Mog. I think even with just the two Aikus, it's possibly that it's just very good. I like Mog a lot. Um, but I wouldn't add it right now. I think like Steiner is almost never going to get Mog. It's almost always going to get Artemisian. Uh if you already have the Aiku, if you don't have the Aiku, it's going to get this. If you don't have the the Viking for your Layla, you're going to get Brawn. Uh, if you need the the Freya for the special, you know, like there's just, oh man, so much cool stuff you can yeah. do. Uh, and that like, was one of my biggest complaints, uh, especially about the Freya. I was, I've was i been playing Dragoons off and on. I, I mean, I played a two one box and I, I think I topped both of them or I, I got bubbled mm -hmm. out on the first one. Um, but the Freya just seems so weak because I'm like, well, I need to have a second Freya for removal. Now I have three cards that can search Freya in this deck. Yeah, I like I like Freya a lot. I think Freya is really underestimating. Underestimated. It's great to a scholar because they just can't block. Like you get to you ping two of their guys for three K, and then you attack with Freya, and they can't block with either of them because of the first strike. It just seems to me very, very, very good. Um, and then the special is pretty relevant in this deck, um, especially because of the first strike. You could, like, scholar their guys and attack with Freya, and they're like, well, we have to take it, so they take it, and then you're like, all right, well, I'll also attack with anything else. A Viking, they're like, all right, well, you only dealt me 3,000, I'll block the Viking, and then you special the Freya and kill their guy. Um and then yeah, you can attack with the rest of your guys. Seems and I mean, good. you could even kill some things too, depending on the board. I mean, you have low cost two two drop dragoon, and then you have five unique ones. Yeah, um, I, I do also board, like that this deck all. isn't isn't like dead to Zidane. Uh, I, I when I build a deck, I'm very scared of a few cards. Uh, Dataluma, which does seem scary against this deck. What you need to do is kill their forwards. And then fan for it, or continue to attack, make them block, and then Cyclops. Um, so Dataluma is, is scarier for this deck because we don't have that Minwoo. But I do think that it's not Zidane's not. It's, this deck's not very scared of Zidane. It's not scared of Nidhogg. It's not scared of Sin. Um, you know, it's not scared of Shantoto. You have so many searchers to rebuild. You know, if they Shantano you, you could Aiku into Steiner, into Zidane, and you have a board presence all over again. Very quickly, you can Layla Viking for board presence. Um, so it's, it's not scared of a lot of the more conventional board wipes, which is good for me. Or the threats that I'm really scared of, uh, like Zidane. I like to be able to beat Zidane. You need to be able to beat Ranger. 
um, I mean, has ways to beat Ranger. A lot of ways to beat Ranger. Um, Alula is probably not fantastic to run into, depending on like, like if you're playing against like a really mono heavy mono lightning deck that's like killing a lot of your guys. Alula is going to be pretty good against you, but a lot of you guys are going to be sideways, so they're not going to be able to like two for one you with Al Cid. Um, you just need to watch that idea. Um, those are DAEX bursts and those Odin EX bursts, and you probably seem fine with this deck against Mono Lightning. Yeah, everything looks good there. I'm trying to think of what what really is just a bad bad matchup. I accidentally realized we had 49 cards. Nine backups, 24, so we need to put another summon in or backup. Do we want to go back up to the Yuna? Oh, I think you went to 49 when you dropped the X death. Okay, so um, oh yeah, because balancing. Okay, so hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I still would be more comfortable with a two drop, honestly. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I, I want to have. I like to have in a deck that tries to be low to the ground. I like to have a good ten two drop backups. Yeah, I could get behind that for sure. Uh, I don't like Cosmos. I don't really want two light cards. I know you can play in the same time, but. Yeah, I still don't, I'm still not a fan of two light cards there. I mean, I don't need color fixing. Everything's consistent yeah. enough. I don't think untapping our um, stuff is good enough. Um, no, we don't yeah. have anything like Ash. I mean, Ash untaps itself. We don't have anything of that caliber that can like fight in battles yeah. very well. Uh, Lancer's been pretty good in some of the matchups too. So Lancer's the one that gives it first strike, right? Yeah, breaks himself to give it first strike. I could see that because you have. Uh, Rama, you have three scholars, you have two Cyclops. Yeah, I could get behind a Lancer. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I could get behind the Lancer for sure. Ah. Well, there you go. There's Chad's uh, Dragoon Palace. <laughs> I love it. Have to have to give that a shout at locals this week. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a lot of fun. It seems like a good deck. Um... Anyway, uh, we appreciate you guys joining us. Um, we want to shout out to Cards of Ivalice. If you have not, uh, if you have not signed up for Cards of Ivalice, I totally get it. There was just an Opus Seven release. It's a busy month, um, but Christmas is coming up. So somewhere between then, budget some money and signs up for Cards of Ivalice. You're not going to regret it. There are still more announcements to come. We already know that there's going to be a All Star Draft foil that you get to keep. What you draft if you make top eight of the regular uh, Opus Seven draft. We know that um, Square Enix is sponsoring that, so the prize support is going to be good. We know that there's the, the the coolest, not even close trophy we have seen in Final Fantasy available yet. So that is also pretty important. Um, so besides that, we also know that there's a ton of people coming in. We know the legendary Chris Adams and uh, Matthew Rice. By the way, happy birthday, Matthew! Uh, my birthday is tomorrow, um, so we know that they're going to be streaming the event. Um, I really don't think it's going to get any better than this. So, Chad, have you have you registered yet? Oh yes, I registered the moment it went up. <laughs> nice. I think I was one of the first. Uh, what was it what sixty that got? I, I can't remember what it was. I think it was but... like thirty, but you're also the first thirty. So yeah, I I didn't care everything else was good like he didn't have to announce any more for me to feel like it's worth going oh it's already and... worth going it's insane but oh there, yeah i can say this i'm 100 percent certain that there's more there is more <laughs> i i can guarantee you that james is never short of surprises nope yeah and that, that's not even to include the fact that like everyone is donating prizes like i donated my my uh nationals mat i donated a whole, like a hundred or two hundred dollars worth of just Final Fantasy uh, souvenir stuff from uh, Distant Worlds uh, concerts I've been to. I know that uh, Genesis and some of the, the Dallas-Fort Worth area players are donating a bunch of stuff. Um, who knows? I, I'm sure the RBA guys are going to bring some stuff. Like, we are really excited about this. But also, again, above and beyond that, there is more. <laughs> I can't tell you what because I don't know. But there's more. I know there's more. I've been told there's more. I have not been told what that more is. But uh, I'm really excited. So anyway, thanks for joining. Hey, Chad, thank you for joining me, man. I really appreciate you jumping in at such late notice. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I always appreciate your deck building. So thanks thanks again. This is your second time on the cast. 
Uh, yeah. I'll, always appreciate it, man. Almost honorary now. <laughs> but no, Almost. thank you for having me. I, I, I love it. As always, uh, thank you, Chad, for joining us. Thank you, Cards Village, for your sponsorship. I'm Sam Snipe Prime, and we'll catch you later.